We're going to install pretty much everything you see here today. We have the JB4, of course, which is going to give us more power. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be adding some sound and some power to my new 2022 toyota supra we're going to install pretty much everything you see here today but i'm going to be breaking it up into different videos so make sure you subscribe to the channel to follow the progress the adventure on this car Both catch can is going to be one of the most important things you could add on any engine we have the jb4 of course which is going to give us more power and tunability this being in 2022 the dmes are definitely locked up and still not cracked unfortunately but luckily Burger Motorsports has the answer to that. So we also have a couple of things from them. We've got their open air filter and we have their intake bracket here. So we'll be installing these two things today in conjunction with this. All right, so this thing right here is a silencer delete little block off plate. We have some short tower braces. We've already got everything pretty much dissected because you don't need to see it, honestly. For the sake of the video, it just speeds things up to take it all apart. So we're over here with my buddy Colton. Over here with his Supra. So JB4 is going to give us the tunability and the adjustability of adding boost and some other pits, so on and so forth. And you can also still load custom maps on these in the future, which we will explore as this whole adventure develops. Again, if you want more power and sound, this is a option that you can go with that does not break the bank. So we also went ahead and installed the Burger Motorsports oil cap. But I digress, guys. Let's get started. Let's add some more power and sound to our Toyota Supra. Let's go. This has the dongle attached for your Bluetooth and you can just download the app. Gives you on the fly tuning, swap maps on the fly. It's pretty sick, honestly. And it turns, you can turn the boost up um, so that we can get, you know, there's several different settings, but then you can go map six and get a custom tune. So, so we got our OBD. OBD2 port that's and we're gonna, gonna pass through the firewall. Yeah, so we've already got this hooked up. Yep, your Bluetooth uh, dongle. And then this piece is gonna plug into your, into your OBD. You've got this connector that's gonna go here. This connector is gonna go there. And then this one is going to go to your external or to your wastegate. Another cool thing too is it's a basically piggyback tune. So when you install these, it's not gonna mess with your warranty. All right, so check it out. So you pass this through the firewall. It's gonna go this location back here and unlock. And this whole thing should just slide up and out like that. And then right down through here, this little spot where I can fit my finger through. There's a little plug back there, and basically you can take a long flathead, puncture a hole. It's really soft rubber, and then just enough to just enough to be able to pass through something about this size, and then run that down, and then plug into your OBD2 port, and then the rest of the wires are going to come out through here, and you can hide them any way that you want. They're all heat wrapped, so they look OEM, so very stealthy. Is that it right there? Yeah. 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 Is you just have to un unclip that and we'll go underneath the stock air box. You have this right here, which is a big silencer. You unclip it from this location here, and then we have our new cap from Burger Motorsports. All right, so we made a lot of progress. So we have the JB4 all hooked up. So we pass through here in this empty cavity behind this, this engine plate. You have this empty cavity back here, which is where we have the JB4, all the lines, show you where everything is hooked up. So I went underneath this plate here, and then you can see we're kind of spider webs out. Your first pigtail is gonna go in between. If you see, you find your oil cap here. Okay, and then right in this location, you have this sensor. So that first pigtail is gonna go in between. And then from there, it's gonna branch off to right here above the charge pipe. It's gonna go there with the brown wires and the black wires. Okay, the other one is gonna come all the way down here to your electronic wastegate controller. This is pretty easy. So it's got an O-ring in there. You wanna make sure that you retain that O-ring underneath here. And it's gonna be a really tight fit. So just get you like some dish soap or whatever, and then lube up that O-ring. This thing will slide on and then that clocks clockwise to lock in place. Now the engine cover is gonna go back on. It will look completely OEM like we never touched it. So I'm gonna interrupt the video real quick. I wanna go over a couple of things that you can do with the JB4 that is really trick. But I wanna show you a couple of things that you can do on this and why it's worth it. Let's explore the JB4 app for just a second and then we'll go for our 
Test drive. Once you register for your app, now you're gonna have connectivity with all of the different things that you can do with inside of this. So check this out. You have all these different gauges, for example, right here. So boost, RPM, so on and so forth, AFR, IATs. It's gonna indicate what map we are on. But for example, you're gonna hold down, you're gonna long press on one of the gauges. You can change all of these different gauges with six different gauges you can monitor at any given time. Throttle, for example, I just click on that and it changes, right? Let's go ahead and change that back. But just to highlight what this thing can do as far as the way that this looks on the dash display and it's pretty sick because you could actually have this this up anywhere you can display it and you can go on a drive and monitor what the car is actually doing so really cool all right this being a 2022 ecu is locked up it's a very expensive thing to get this thing unlocked fully to its full potential but the jb4 allows us to increase power and like we said switch maps on the fly because map six is what it's all about when you go to a custom map we don't have that yet we'll do that in the future but it's really easy to be able to get into this menu and tweak some things that the tuner will allow you to do but essentially all you're going to do is double tap on your map over here and you have different options here but right there map six that's your custom tune that you can get from your tuner and wake this car up even more and it allows other options like water meth injection and you can run ethanol blends with the jb4 as well which is really sick so okay so let's going to continue on so if you go to data log you can data log while you're driving you can save them you can send to your tuners and they can adjust the tune this will read and clear trouble code check engine code so if you do like a catalyst downpipe you're still going to see that check engine light but no big deal it's just a light but the car is going to behave and perform no different except that you're going to have more power which is what we want we're going to do that in the future. To the settings, it's going to tell you what map you're in. This is going to give you some of your information here. Your app configurations. Okay, so you're going to go through here. You're going to adjust different things. Your tuning, everything else. Themes. You can um, have this thing in like a HUD display, which is pretty cool. So everything will be kind of backwards. RPM shift indicators. There's your HUD mode right there. Uh, lots of lots of different things. Developer options. Okay, this is what you don't want to do. This is like a tuning tool right here, but it says don't touch. Well, let's touch it. All right, so we're not going to play with this, but here are a bunch of different things that can be controlled within the JB4. Again, we're going to let the tuner deal with all of that. There is a lot of functionality and a lot of different things that you can do with inside of the JB4. Now, what's really cool about the JB4, real quick, before we get on to our first drive, is I think that this is really neat for those that want to hold on to their warranties. This is going to allow you to plug and play some custom maps on here, have fun with the car, but it will allow you to go back to stock very quickly if you want to. It's going to allow you to adjust maps on the fly, which is really, really sick, and get you going faster. So, all right, let's get on to our first First drive, let's go. All right, first drive. Oh, oh, oh there it is. Holy crap. Yeah, a little more power. Oh, yeah, that felt the car like fucked up. <laughs> that, whoa. <laughs> it's that torque, Brad. Spinning. Yeah, spinning hard. He used to never spin. I couldn't get this thing to spin. So oh. it spins not a problem now. Yeah, now it's, I mean, that's a clear indication of our power, but that's pretty sick. So, um, as far as the sound, let's see if we can tell the difference. Give it a little load. Pops. That pops, though. Maybe a little bit. So what we can do is just go ahead and knock it out in this video. So we'll spin this around install the Berger Motorsports new air filter, which is gonna be an open top. And that should give us a lot more audible feedback from the turbochargers. Let's turn this around and do this again. Oh, got a little sideways. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's definitely gonna wake it up a little bit more. So I think this is still a really cool option for those that wanna run a stock air box, just a little bit more sound out of something like this. Plus, if you want to run an oil catch can from Burger, which I highly recommend it, we will be doing that uh, install probably in the next video or so. One of the things that you need to do though, to run, for example, the Burger or even some of the other aftermarket oil catch cans is at minimum this silencer delete because that is where the catch can is gonna live is back in that area. But everybody likes more noise. We're gonna still retain the bottom of the stock air box, which is gonna be kind of cool because we get to keep our heat shield. All right, guys, so just tighten this up. The way this works is gonna retain the 
bottom box of your intake and that way you can keep the heat shield and you can take these little clips off and this is basically just going to sit like this now definitely something that i would say is more cost affordable so if you have one of these cars and you want more sound maybe a little bit more power but you're not looking to break the bank this is a very good option so links in the description but yeah definitely check out burger motorsports down in the video descriptions and then we're still going to do the other pieces the strut braces the oil catch can and the other goodies and then eventually a custom map for the jb4 but now let's take it back on the road and see how this performs with our new open element air filter yep there's definitely, more noise immediately noise. more noise a lot more noise actually silencer delete is a good viable option for uh, those setups where it's going to be applicable if you want to retain the stock air box or run it one or if you want to run like a uh, catch can which we're going to be doing you're going to need that 100 percent but here's give some more spice and we'll slow it down and then, that was on the cover oh was he yeah i was covered during good thing i slowed down then huh? uh -huh. continue these videos we're going to continue installing stuff but make sure that you again are subscribed to the channel so you come back and see the oil catch can installed and the uh the other goodies that they've sent us plus anything that else that comes in the future again appreciate burger motorsports it how's, it how's it feel over here i mean it sounds power good it definitely feels faster than passenger seat yeah <laughs> so a little bit more power a little bit more sound to our 2022 Toyota Supra. I'll see you guys next video. Appreciate you stopping by. Make sure that you subscribe if you are interested in Supra content. I will see you guys in the next video.